Let's start by understanding how virtual machines communicate within the same ESXi host or across different hosts. As well as with systems on external networks, such as the Internet, VMs, much like physical computers, utilize network interface cards to transmit and receive network traffic. However, in the virtual realm, these are virtual NICs, seamlessly integrated into the VMs. From the perspective of the guest operating system, these virtual NICs appear as physical NICs. All VMware switches can have port groups and can assign VLAN ID for each port group. Virtual machine port groups serve as gateways for VM traffic, defining VLANs and facilitating communication within virtual environments. VLAN segmentation plays a crucial role in virtual networking, ensuring efficient traffic routing between VMs on different VLANs. In this scenario, physical devices need to traverse a trunk port. Conversely, VM kernel ports handle specialized traffic for functions like vMotion, IP storage, and management for enabling communication between hosts and vCenter. When a VM needs to transmit data, it interacts with a virtual switch, connecting to a specific port group. These port groups define settings like VLAN membership and security policies. VMs within the same port group and host can communicate directly without traffic traversing physical networks. However, if VMs are in different port groups on a single host or on multiple hosts, the traffic travels through the physical network. When communication extends beyond virtual boundaries, physical interfaces, known as NICs, come into play. These interfaces facilitate communication between virtual and physical networks. Jumbo frames optimize network efficiency by allowing VMs to send larger Ethernet frames, reducing the overhead associated with smaller frames. However, improper configuration of maximum transmission unit, MTU, settings can lead to performance issues, particularly if MTU settings differ between virtual and physical switches. For example, if a VM sends a jumbo frame, our VMware switch can support it. Our VMware standard switch is configured to support an MTU of 9000 but our physical switch is configured with an MTU of 1524. This means the VMware standard switch and the physical switch MTU values are not consistently configured. In our example, the jumbo frame supported by the vSphere standard switch will be passed to the physical switch. However, because the physical switch MTU value is 1524, the switch will cut this jumbo frame into smaller chunks, a process known as fragmentation. This fragmentation requires more processing power and significantly impacts performance. Therefore, if you plan to use jumbo frames, it is crucial to consistently configure the MTU value across all network devices. In conclusion, Virtual networking is a complex yet essential aspect of modern IT infrastructures. VMs connect to network resources via virtual switches, utilizing virtual NICs. Port groups and VM kernel ports facilitate VM communication and specialized traffic handling. VLAN segmentation ensures efficient traffic routing between VMs on different VLANs. Consistent MTU configuration across virtual and physical switches is crucial for optimal network performance. In the ever-evolving landscape of virtualization, mastering virtual networking is a valuable skill that opens doors to enhanced efficiency and scalability. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.